Hey, uh, this is Will O'Connell. And Alex Smith. And we're going to be recording a couple of videos here on how to use the BC IMAPS uh, online resource. So the first thing you're going to do is find the website. So you're going to go IMAPS BC and Google search. And if you looked it up as many times as me, it's the first thing. But um, it's this one under the province of British Columbia government of BC. You click on it, you'll get the home page here, and we want to go right into launching IMAPS BC. So we'll be making a few videos here on kind of a step-by-step -step creating the map uh, that, that we like to create um, in order to really extract the information that we want. Uh, and this one will just be on the basics, kind of getting in, and then the four or five layers that we're always using. Um, so here's our map. You can kind of move <clears throat> move around with your mouse here. The first thing I like to do is get rid of this toolbar because although it's full of useful things, we don't need them right now and we want more map. Um, so, so we're going to get right into adding layers. Once we go close enough, if you're too zoomed out, the layers that you add won't show up. So you got to kind of get in close enough uh, that your that your layers will appear. You can see we've already got logging roads inside the bite of the wall brand here. So under build your map, we'll click the add layers now. We're gonna, we're gonna add um, first the old growth management areas, which is under land use plans. So we'll click land use plans, a little plus, it's alphabetical, go down to old growth management areas, click a plus, and then we do legal and non-legal um, just to cover our bases. Then we'll go down to Vancouver Island Land Use Plan and click on Special Management Areas because the Wall Brand is a special management zone and uh, that's of interest to us. Then we'll go to Licenses and Permits and we'll go into BC Timber Sales, uh, which Alex was just telling me some interesting things about. Yeah, the new legislation that the NDP just introduced um, requires the logging companies to um, post up information about f their five-year, multi-year development plans as far as proposed cut blocks and roads. So these, this link helps us find those uh, areas of interest that we need to check out. Yeah, nice. So yeah, hopefully that information comes out of just clicking this box. The next thing we want is forest cut blocks. You've got a lot of options here, but what we're really concerned with is the active forest cut blocks. That's what we're interested in. Feel free to explore these. And this, you can see, you know, there's there's a ton more that you can check out here. Timber licenses, um, trap lines, but those are the, the four main layers that we're adding here. So it was forest cut blocks, BC timber sales, Vancouver Island land use plan, special management zones, and old growth management areas. So when we click OK, the map's going to take a second, and boom, they're all on there. So that wraps it up for the first video here, and we'll make a second one picking it up from this spot.